Hi folks, I get a lot of requests to uh, demonstrate how I do my Fujifilm FP100C um, bleached negative recovery, so I thought I'd show it. I've got a couple of uh, uh, negatives here from a shoot earlier today in the studio with a 4x5 uh, view camera, so I thought I'd show you the process here. Um, usually I soak my uh, negatives in warm water, not hot water, but warm water for three to five minutes. It helps to kind of loosen some of the paper bits, like you see that just kind of just kind of falls off. And then I've got uh, the negative down in here. Whoops, yeah, all the paper is just kind of coming off. And <clears throat> you'll notice there's a little bit of paper still attached to it there. So that should just come right off, just like that, real nice and easy. Just kind of set that aside. There is still some chemical goo um, on this side of the negative. What we're going to be removing is the opaque backing on the negative using just a um, gel uh, toilet bowl cleaner, some Clorox from the local you know, Target or grocery store. Do be sure if you use the gel cleaner that it is uh, a bleach-based uh, gel cleaner. Some of them are not, apparently. So, But the bleach is what does the job. The gel just kind of helps hold it in place. So we're going to be taking off that black backing. But before we do that, I want to wipe or kind of kind of clean off some of the loose goo here. So I'm going to just run some, not hot, but just kind of normal room temperature water. And just kind of gently rub this. I don't want to be too rough with it because it is possible to damage the emulsion side of the negative here if you're too rough with it. But just gentle brushing with your fingers. Um, the rubber gloves are not for this so much as they are for the bleaching part uh, of the process. So that feels, you can kind of feel when the goo is gone, and it looks like it's a little clearer now. So we've got, uh, we've got the negative side here. Now at this point, some folks would have you tape this to your piece of glass to do your, uh, you know, so that you don't get bleach underneath it. But really, it's not necessary. It turns out it's not necessary at all. If you run some water, I've got a piece of glass here uh, in the, the sink. And I'm just going to set an incline. It just it doesn't fit the sink, so it kind of angles down towards the drain there. So I'm just going to run a little bit of water on the uh, on the glass, and then lay my negative emulsion side down on the glass. So the part that I'm clearing is is this black part here. But with the wet glass and the negative in contact that with uh, with the glass, it kind of seals it so that the the bleach won't get underneath. And then I'm simply going to kind of hold my finger here at the end so it doesn't doesn't move and drizzle a little bit of bleach at the top edge of the negative, like so, and just let it run. And it is, because it's gel, it tends to go slowly. And then I just kind of brush it back up so it doesn't just all run off. And you can see, I don't know if you can see it in the picture there, that the negative image is starting to come through. That black opaque backing is running off and right down the drain. And I'm just brushing it gently with... Uh, a foam paintbrush here, just trying to kind of keep the bleach in place a little bit longer. But you can see it doesn't take any time at all for it to remove that black backing. Just brushing very gently. Uh, I don't want to scratch the negative or anything like that. But it looks like it's all cleared there. And all I'm going to do then is rinse this off. Now I want to be careful when I uh, pick up my negative because I've got a little bleach on my glove here from holding the negative in place. So I want to be sure I rinse that off really thoroughly first before I pick up my negative off the glass because I don't want to get any residual bleach that might be on my fingertips on the emulsion side, on the other side of the negative, because that will just destroy the emulsion on that side. So kind of being careful about how I handle it and kind of rinse again in kind of lukewarm water, rinse the bleached side here, and we'll flip it over and again kind of rinse the emulsion side again. Well, it looks like I may have got... No, I guess not. I guess we're okay. And then you can see, if you hold that up to the light, we have a negative. And I'll go hang this to dry. And then I'll digitize it probably with a DSLR. You could scan it. I've had better luck digitizing these with a, a DSLR light table setup. So, but there you have it. That's bleaching the uh, FP100C negative so that you have a recoverable negative that you can scan or digitize and then do with as you would. See you next time.